On October 8th, several wildfires ravaged our community. Over 5,000 homes were lost and over 13,000 people lost their shelter. The water, however, was there for our first responders. Thanks to Sonoma County Water Agency, our crews were out there 24-7, ensuring that the pipelines were safe, ensuring that the water storage tanks were full. We were there to protect the water supply so the first responders can protect us. I had woken up about midnight because I smelled some smoke at home and got up and walked around the house. Nothing was on fire. Not long after, I received a call to respond to a power outage here in Sonoma Valley. I was awoken by a phone call from uh, my good friend and assistant general manager here at the Sonoma County Water Agency. Pam called uh, because she was evacuating her house and her first thought was for the water agency and said that, you know, we need to get in there and get our emergency operations center up and going because there are multiple fires breaking out. When I got to about uh, Los Gilicos and there was a big tree down on the road and people were just trying to get by however they could. It was just complete chaos, people driving all over on the wrong side of the road. There was ash blowing across the road, uh, all these glowing embers and they would pile up against like a tree or something and just burst it into flames and by the time I got to Kenwood there was houses fully engulfed in flames and I couldn't stop to turn around and go the other direction just because there was complete chaos I didn't want to get stuck and I didn't want to get in a car accident so I kept coming out here to Sonoma Valley and I knew that things needed to be taken care of here to keep get the plant back online Driving into work, I remember coming over the hill on River Road is when you can first open up and you can see Santa Rosa. And that's when it became really real because that's where I could see Coffee Park and everything. It was just glowing. Our, our big challenge during the fire was actually the loss of power. And with the loss of power, we had no way to tell what was going on in our tanks, what the water levels were, what pumps were running. When we got to the plant, the power had been out and there was a lot of stuff that needed to be reset to keep this plant moving, keep the water moving through it, because things can overflow, um, water can overflow into people's houses, uh, we can have sewage overflow and go into our creeks, so it's very important for us to keep things moving here at this plant, and that was my focus. There was power glitches going on out in, out right here. At the, all the tank sites, I mean, there was no power. The power lines were on the ground. They were burned. So we had to keep this reset right away because this is a major thing that boosts the water towards Kenwood, Sonoma, all out that area. We went out into the actual active fire zones and checked the tank levels manually. That's where we knew we needed to get the generators set up. We had to get a bunch of different generators for all, each site and be able to get them going so that way the SCADA system would be up and running that would get enable the operations to see actually tank levels. Our primary concern was making sure there was water for the firefighters to, to fight the battle. We've seen in other fires where they've run out of water and the firemen sit there defenseless to do anything and we were so proud of our staff for making sure and doing everything they could to make sure that wasn't us. You come into the through the fire lines they let us through because we need to be in that area but like we're not really firemen and so we had to just use our our heads on you know what we felt safe what felt comfortable and I mean we we were going to trying to get to Eldridge it was so smoky and the visibility was so low and there was fire on both sides of the road and like we're out there there's no firemen escorting us out there or anything like that. It, you know, it was just us on our own as soon as we get through those lines. I mean, you'd see firemen here and there and everything, but you don't, you're not, you're not being escorted by us. You had to really feel w what you felt comfortable with. And Monday, we didn't make it to Eldridge Reservoir. We couldn't. And Tuesday, when we went there, the whole place burnt all the way up to the tanks and, and the pole, the power pole and transformer on the ground, everything. So that's, I mean, we weren't going to make it. So we did, made a good decision by turning around. We had staff who worked for the next seven days, 24 seven, making sure that these firefighters had the water they needed. We had crews that were not just willing, almost like standing in line, wanting to go out and do this. We had so many people that just were wanting to help. A gentleman who lost his home, but is uh, one of our operations managers. And he tried staying away uh, you know, going with his family, but he, 
he came back and was working here because he just said, this is where I want to be. It was one of the most scariest moments, I think, ever in my life, dealing with that night. It was very scary. I've never dealt with anything like that ever in my life. It was, it was kind of like in, you're in shock. I remember when I came home then at the end of the night, then it was different, you know? Like you think about it, like what happened. It was just, it was, it was crazy. It's hard to see. I am proud to say that at no point did any of our customers lose their water. Our crews at the Sonoma County Water Agency ensured that pipelines were safe and that adequate water was stored so that we could fight these wildfires. If you'd like to know more about Sonoma County Water Agency, go to sonomacountywater.org. And if you'd like to read more about our recovery efforts, go to sonomacountyrecovers.org.